We want to show you a viral video that has been tearing up the internet for months. It's called Extreme Shepherding, and it's gotten over 10 million hits on YouTube alone. It looks real, and it really is an elaborate commercial. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer has the story. As soon as the sun comes up in the hill country of South Wales, Bernard Llewellyn is already out marshalling his sheep. He's a farmer and also the man British film directors turn to when they cast animals on screen. That's why last year Samsung's ad agency approached Llewellyn with what you might call a bright idea to advertise the company's new LED TVs, Formation Shepherding. Once Llewellyn and his team had done it in the daytime, they set up an ambitious nighttime shoot, the sheep dressed in jackets of tiny lights. Nine million YouTube hits later, Samsung and Llewellyn's sheep wranglers are delighted with the kind of buzz money just can't buy. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London. And joining us now from Wales are Bernard Llewellyn, the general, Emrys Williams, the electrician, and Jerry Lewis, the player, and Rob Jones, the LED master. Good morning to you all. Good morning, morning. honey. <laughs> Just some shepherds with their flock behind them. Uh, let me start with Robert. Who started this? Who came up with the idea to put these lights on these sheep or to gather these sheep into more than, I mean, really, not just picturesque, but actual pictures. Um, it was Wait. a bit of a team effort, it was. Um, all of us, really. It was just a bit of a crazy idea and just something we could see if we could pull it off, you know? Right. Well, the company, in fact, came to me first. Sorry, Harry, the company came to me with the idea and then yeah. I took it from there, basically. Okay. But it was this commercial company operating out of London. Okay. And once you started to try to execute it then, how difficult was it to get the sheep and the dogs to cooperate? Well, I think initially the problem was that they really expected too much. They were asking us to do the impossible. But in fact, you know, as time went on, we found we could actually do more and more. Um, just with a little bit of help on the speed of some of the shots and this sort of thing. But it's surprising what you can do if you're given the resources. <laughs> we have some damn good dogs as well. Right, I'll bet. Well, we're looking at the video now of the Pong, which is uh, really amazing. So they, they strapped LED lights on the, back of, uh, on the back of the sheep, and uh, you basically took... How many sheep make a Pong ball, Emrys? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not, not quite to remember, to be honest, but... Uh, <laughs> there about 10, was it? Or? 10 or 12, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the In the video is sped up, that but was the, how long did it take to get a, a, a little mini flock of 10 or so all the way to the other side of the field? Oh, two minutes or so to drive them back and forth, and then, oh, okay. of course, obviously, with a little bit of little bit of help of camera wizardry, it was speeded up a little bit, but right. that's how we controlled it, by a lot of good dogs taking them back and forth. Wow, it's, it's very, very impressive. Last but not least, the fireworks are absolutely fantastic. How long, Robert, did it take you to choreograph the, the, the uh, fireworks? <laughs> uh, long enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't too bad. It was, it was all good fun. All right. That well, was one of the easiest bits, in fact, yeah. How about that? Well, we're very impressed. We wish you a Merry Christmas and uh, good luck. We want to see more, if you don't mind. Take care.